Welcome to Cold Antler Farm, <laughs> vlog number 17, and today we're going to learn how to get started playing the fiddle. <laughs> so today I want to talk about learning an instrument by yourself something few adults take on and many folks think they don't have the time, money, or skills to do, and that's absolutely not true. Anyone at any age can learn to play an instrument, specifically this one, the fiddle. Now, a fiddle and a violin, they're the same thing. The music you play on it is what differentiates it from the other instrument. So while this can play orchestra music and classical pieces of art, I use it to play jigs and reels and old gospel songs. This is, to me, a mountain fiddle. That's what I play. I started playing the fiddle back when I ordered one on eBay living in Idaho alone for winter. I think I spent $20 on the instrument, and that includes the case and bow. And um, I bought a book off of the internet knowing nothing really about the guy other than the title seemed appealing to me. And let me grab that book. Old Time Fiddle or the Complete Ignoramus. Suits me. This is a fiddle. It's an adult full-size fiddle, also known as a 4-4. If you're ordering your first instrument, they come in many different sizes. If you're an adult of any size or a teenager who's a little older in their years, you know, something above 12, an adult fiddle is what you need. 4-4 four, four size. Fiddles come with bows. Bows are made of horsehair or synthetic horsehair and they have what's called the frog on this end and a little tuning peg that lets you make the uh, bow more or less taut. For fiddling I like it to be a little more loose than tight. This is actually a little tight for my liking but it'll work for today's demonstration. Two other really important pieces of equipment are an electronic tuner and a cake of rosin. Rosin is what you use to make the bow have enough friction to play with. And these little tuners clamp right on and let you make sure you're in tune as you're playing. Learning how to tune, you might as well not even be learning to play. So here's a little fiddle 101 for you. This is a fiddle. This is the front. This is the back. Now, on the front of the fiddle, we have strings going G, D, A, E. And then we have our F holes, a bridge holding the strings up, our uh, tailpiece, a little chin rest, and then up here we have the scroll and tuning pegs. Simple enough. Now, to make music with a violin, what you do is you take your bow, if your right hand, it's in your right hand, and what you do is you drag it across the string to make a sound. That was me pulling across a D string playing a D note. This is what the A sounds like. <laughs> Thanks, turkeys. When you first get your violin, basically the first thing you want to work on is clean notes like that. And at first, it won't sound like a clean note. It'll sound like this. It doesn't sound pretty. But you gotta start somewhere. And if you keep trying, eventually, It'll go from really, you know, rough like that to something a little more musical. And when you can start strumming back and forth a clean note, you're ready to start learning finger positions. Now, watch where my fingers go. This is my index finger, my pointer finger. I am going to hold down a string, maybe a finger's length from the top. I'm on the second string, the A string. It doesn't really matter for you, but all you need to see is that I'm pressing down 
on one string. That changes the note. So if I play just the A string, you get that. But if I press down here with my finger, see that? All I did was press down on a string, which made the notes change. Now, there's only the open string itself, where your first finger goes, where your third finger, second finger goes, I'm sorry, and your third. Open. One, two, three. That's it. That's it. That's everything. That's all there is. So when you start learning to play, you start out with a simple song. And the first song we learn at fiddle camp is the first song at old time fiddle for the complete, complete ignoramus, and it's called Ida Red. It goes like this. It goes like this. Really basic, right? But as the camp goes on, we learn to do things like shuffle and make a really basic song sound a little more, you know, jumpy and fun. So, same song, just played faster with some shuffling. And here's the same song, played faster, shuffled, and droned, which means playing not just the, so just, not just the string you're uh, bowing on, but the one next to it to add some harmony. That sound? So that's the first song that book teaches, and it's a rip-roaring good time. And you can teach yourself to play this instrument. It really just requires saying, I'm going to do it. It's not hard. I've got myself a pair of ears. I've got five fingers on at least one hand. You're all set. You don't need to read music either. That's the great thing about these books from NativeGround.com. You do not need to read music. I don't read music. If I do, it's slow. I read music about the speed I read Braille. So, which I don't. So, um, don't be intimidated. Instruments belong to those who want to play them. Musicians are people who want to make music. Do not make it a class thing or intimidation in any way because it's just out there for whoever wants it. So thanks for watching. I hope inspired a couple of you to order your fiddles and learn to play. You're always welcome to join us at Fiddle Camp. It's been going on for three years plus. One's happening this weekend. It's a day camp, so it's a shorter than the usual weekend, but people will leave knowing how to get started, which is great. I love handing people their first fiddles. It's such a good feeling. But um, if you like this video or would like to see more music videos, uh, click the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. It makes all the difference. Thanks for watching, and play on.